Hi, and welcome to another Radan technical video. This tech video looks at the import utility, which provides the ability to convert 2D DXF and DWG files into Radan part symbol files and add the symbol files to the NEST schedule. If you have part files that are in DXF or DWG format, they must be converted to symbol files for the parts to be added to the NEST schedule. This utility combines the operations of converting part drawing files setting material properties and nest parameters in one easy to use interface. The list at the top of the dialog shows the files to import. To add files to this list click the Add button to bring up a file browser. You may select multiple files in the browser. When you click Open the files are added to the list. The required quantity of each part is set to 1 initially and the extra quantity is initially 0. The material and other properties are set to defaults. To delete files from the list, select those rows you wish to delete and click the delete button. Let's try this in Radan. From the parts list tab in the project schedule splitter window at the bottom of the screen, you can find the import utilities icon which brings up the import parts dialog. Selecting the add button just above the settings area brings up the Import Parts File Access dialog. From that dialog, either DXF or DWG CAD files can be selected, along with the Radan 2D Import template, or the 2D Import Options dialog. Multiple files can be selected using standard Windows Shift Select or Control Select methods. Picking the Open button adds the selected files to the Import Parts dialog list, Selecting any of the added files in the list and selecting the delete button will remove the CAD file from the list. To change the properties of the imported parts, select the rows that you want to change and use the options in the properties tab. You can select one row to set the properties of that part alone or multiple rows to make changes to several parts at once. Any changes you make to the settings in the Properties tab are applied immediately to all the selected parts. A part's required quantity, extra quantity, and priority values may be edited in the list directly by clicking on the value that you want to change. To make changes to several parts at once, however, the Properties tab must be used. When the files are imported, they are converted to symbol files, so you must specify an output folder location in which to save these files. Rows are colored red if they have no output folder to find or if the named folder does not exist. The other properties shown in the Properties tab include the parts material and thickness, the required quantity, and nesting properties such as orientations permitted for the part. I'll demonstrate in Radan. When working within the Import Parts dialog, Shift Select and Control Select are supported when selecting multiple parts in the list. When multiple parts are selected, changes made within the Properties tab apply to all selected parts, as illustrated here with common quantities applied to the selected parts. You can double-click and edit certain fields in the list directly including required and extra quantities and priority values. If an output folder has been selected or a default folder saved, the part list items stay red until the output folder is defined for each part in the list. On the 2D Conversion tab, you can choose a conversion template to use when importing DXF or DWG files. Different files in the list may be converted using different templates, or you can specify specific 2D import options using the Options button. Like the settings on the Properties tab, a change you make to this setting is applied only to the selected rows in the list. The Save As Default button on the Properties tab makes the current template the one to use by default. 
When you are satisfied that all the parts have the correct properties, pick Import All to perform the conversion. Save the symbol files in the specified output folder and add the parts to the nest schedule. Let's take a look from within Radan. Similar to the Options button available in the Open Drawing dialog we just mentioned, the 2D Conversions tab also gives access to the list of 2D Conversion templates, as well as the 2D Import Options dialog for setting options or defining templates. Similar to Properties, we can set unique 2D Conversion settings for each CAD file we're importing, whether it be a template or setting 2D Import Options on the fly. The Import All button starts the process of converting each CAD drawing to a Radan symbol file and importing that symbol file into the NEST schedule. Once complete, the dialog closes and you're back at the NEST Projects interface or the Multi-Part Nester dialog. If the block compiler for your machine tool supports different cutting strategies, the Properties tab will show the default strategy for the part's material and thickness. You may choose to use the strategy shown or to have no strategy defined for the part. To use the strategy, turn on the Set Strategy setting. The strategy controls will not be visible if they are not relevant for your current machine tool. If you want to make the current property values the defaults so that they will be used to initialize all parts that you add to the list in the future, click the Save as Default button. This button is enabled when there is a complete set of unique values defined. Note that the save values will not include the required quantity and extra quantity because they are always set to 1 and 0 respectively for newly added parts. You can create 2D conversion template files from the 2D imports dialog accessible from several places including the import parts dialogs 2D conversion tab or when you import a DXF or DWG file into the part editor. In summary, we've seen that the import utility provides a simple and fast way to convert and import CAD files directly to a NEST schedule, as well as define the individual part material type and thickness properties and quantities, NEST orientations, and priorities. Thanks for watching this tech video, and stay tuned for more videos from the Radan Resource Newsletter.